Well, I want to talk about something that happens every year in my apiary. <laughs> of course, I got stung right when I started the video somehow. <laughs> um, the weather and bloom in my area is kind of unique because it's a suburban area. So there's um, something blooming all the time. And we don't really have a winter dearth. We have the slow buildup, the steady flow from December all the way to like February, March, and then it just explodes. And what happens is they pull in all these resources and suddenly your hive is packed. So I wanna show you what I'm talking about. Now, this is the same hive that I did a video of, the very last video of the uh, open air hive. Same hive, uh, last time I moved up a couple of um, honey frames from this bottom box and put them in that top box and I put queen excluder was already on there and I left it on the second box. And I wanna show you what they're doing with these outside frames. Okay, I started from this side and I've made it all the way over here. Look at this. Here's the fun part is doing this, trying to film while holding the <laughs> tool and grabbing the frame, but here we go. This second frame in from the left, I don't know if you can see that, but that's all pollen where it looks like there was brood there before. You can see the, you know, semicircle top part where it looks like there was brood and honey around the top. Same thing on this side. And that's the case for these three frames, I believe. I'm gonna get tagged again here if I'm not careful. overcast not the best day to be doing this type of inspection it's probably about 65 degrees so it's not terribly cold but they're getting a little feisty they're getting a little frustrated with me still being in here I believe this frame is the same as well let's see yeah look at that Both sides, again, packed with pollen. So what's gonna happen then is they're gonna swarm because they've got too many resources in their hive. And I expect the bottom box may be similar. I'm not gonna get into it right now. Um, so it looks like I'm gonna have to start making splits way sooner than I thought. It's January 22nd. So it looks like it's time to start making splits. And uh, if you guys have any other suggestions on what to do with those pollen frames, I'd be super interested in your input. Um, I had the thought of putting pollen traps on the hives this time of year and alternating them and, you know, put them on for a few days, take them off for a few days so that they're not collecting and just storing all that pollen and running out of room. But I'm not sure what else to do because this happens every year. Every year they get resource bound and, you know, it's swarm city so um and every hive i've had out here has done this too with different queens i have this is a a local queen from a cutout the queen there in that hive was an oliveris queen she did the same thing this one is wildflower meadows queen she's not doing it as much but it's starting in this hive um so yeah any input you guys have i'd be real into it thanks for watching